In this video clip, I'm going to ch show you how to change a simple past affirmative sentence into an interrogative sentence. So let's begin, okay, and let's look at the very first sentence at the top. So you see here, you see the sentence, you liked pizza. One of the symbol that the sentence is past is when it ends with D, like, like here. So when you see a sentence with a verb, first of all you have to find verb, in this case the verb here is like, and it ends with a D, so this tells you that the verb is a past tense verb. <clears throat> so when you have something like this, when you see a sentence like this, you liked pizza, you know that your sentence is past tense because it ends in the D. The auxiliary of the past tense is the auxiliary did. So to make this sentence, this affirmative sentence, into an interrogative one, what you do is you add the auxiliary first okay, to the sentence. Did. So you start with the auxiliary did. Did you like pizza? Notice that here, the D that was in liked is disappeared. It has disappeared because it's now in this part. It's the auxiliary here. This, this auxiliary marks the, the verb tense here. So it, it shows, it indicates that the sentence is in the past. So we no longer need the D here. So you would say, did you like pizza? And of course the answer is yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Did you like pizza? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Sometimes when you look at the sentence, you see verbs, but they do not necessarily all end with a D. So some are called irregular verbs. That's the case here. So this verb here doesn't have a regular ending, meaning ending with a letter D or ED. Because this one is irregular, okay, here, and you were able to recognize that this was an irregular verb, okay, then you think, okay, this is simple past, this verb, I, recogn I can recognize it, it's simple past. The auxiliary of the simple past is did. So you put the, the auxiliary first before the affirmative structure here. Did he eat fish? Again, notice here that the verb has gone back to the base form. Okay, It is the base form. Ate is the simple past tense form of the verb eat. Eat here is the base form. So did he eat fish? Yes, he did, or no, he didn't. The answer is yes or no. Let's look at another sentence here. They had fruit. Here, by looking at the verb, I can see that the verb is in the simple past here. So the auxiliary of the simple past is the auxiliary did. Okay, so I'm going to put the auxiliary did here before what used to be the affirmative sentence, the, the, the affirmative sentence, yes. So, did they have, and here I could even put here a question word in front of that structure to look for information. So, the information would be here fruit. What did they have? And the answer would be fruit. So, again, you see the structure here, we begin with the auxiliary, did, and then you have the subject, you, he, or they, and after that we have the verb at the base form, have, eat, like. The verb has gone back to the base form because we use the auxiliary, and in some cases we have information. And in that case, the answer would be yes or no. And if we don't have that information, well, of course, we need the question word to find the information. Okay. So this is the end of this clip.